then it happened. Oh, hello there. I'm Gibson, and you're not. And this is my iPod vlog number 295. 295 iPod vlogs. It's almost to my goal of 366 iPod vlog for this year. Next year, I'll just do one iPod vlog a week, probably. Yeah, because it's just too much work to do these things. <laughs> Actually, just get bored of it. And there's nothing else to talk about. Anyways, today, my brothers, Philip and Mark and myself, we went to the Bell's Taco and we had those $5 boxes. And I still have a drink left over here. I think right here. Yeah, it's Miss Twist. Mmm. For one of those new special Coke machines that has multiple sodas and you press a button and yeah, it's an electronic thingy. Weird. Yeah, this is the first part of Weekend Wind Up! Weekend Wind Up! Weekend Wind Up! Weekend Wind Up! Weekend Wind Up Part 1! iPod Vlogger 295. Today we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about Be Clean! Exclamation point. Yes! Be clean! Be clean! Saturday. October 22nd, 2016. No flying cars, no personal jetpacks, no hover ranks, no anti gravity, no ancient aliens, no aliens coming to invade us, no aliens to come to visit us or save us, no solar flares, no asteroids, no natural disasters of the world proportions, no apocalypse yet. This is the first part of We Can Wind Up. Like I said, it's Saturday. Saturday in the park. I think I saw a monkey on a rod. People were screaming. Clowns were chasing everybody around. Why are the clowns chasing people around? Why would people dress up as clowns and chase people around? That's just crazy. Does that rhyme? Why would people dress as a clown and chase people around? Almost rhymes. Anyhow, first part of We Can Wind Up. Second part of We Can Wind Up later on today, I'll do Smells! Exclamation point. That's vlog number, iPod vlog number 296. Right now it's 295. iPod vlog number 295. Be clean! How to be clean is use soap. Soap is your friend. Take a shower, my friend. You're starting to smell ripe. But not the good kind. Some people like smelly people, but I don't. Put on some deodorant and antiperspirant. But it has to have deodorant on it too, because it makes you smell better. And then if you want to, put some cologne on or perfume if you're a girl. Whatever you are on the weekend, Wanda. We're just gonna blab about being clean. Clean your fingernails out. And if you can't, just clip them off so you won't have to clean out the underneath of them. And make your teeth clean and shiny. And sometimes they break and they fall apart. But don't worry about that. I got that tooth pulled out because it's broken. I got my front teeth. I'm going to have these uh, capped. And then, then this one pulled out and one of these down here pulled out. And maybe one then back there pulled out again. Get some fake teeth. And then get these veneered. And then get that one out of there. And then maybe get some... Fake teeth for the rest of whatever. I only need a partial plate here and then two caps, porcelain veneer caps, and then a veneer caps and then this one out and then take out my, my fillings and, 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 and use a clear veneer filling so it won't see the silver in it. Silver. Yeah, from a long time ago, from the ooh, early 80s. But, anyways, it's to be clean. So, be, be clean. You take a bath. Bath, or you take a shower. Shower. I don't know why you say you take a bath, take a shower. Where would you take it? You couldn't even take them out. How could you take them out? Right now, my brother, Phil, Mark, they're trying to, f they, they found out what, th there's a leak upstairs. My brother, Phil, found out there was a pipe that was loose. So all I used to do is, is get some pipe glue and stick the pipe back up in there and glue it back together and then turn the water back on. Because the hot water pipe came loose. Yeah, he thought it was a crack, but apparently it wasn't a crack. It was... It wasn't just a crack. I mean, a little teen crack at the end, I think. But it was actually, pipe came loose. So that's where the water was coming from. <laughs> Anyhow, he fixed part of the, sh the leak. Now he's going to fix the whole leak and have the, wires, the hot wires off for the whole house. Because for some reason, he couldn't turn off the hot wires just for upstairs. Because one of the valves down there is crazy. So he had to turn on the main hot water valve downstairs. Oh, which turned off everybody's hot water. Which means I can't have hot water. But he said he's going to turn it back on by 6 o'clock so I could do... Hopefully by 6 o'clock so I could do some dishes. Or you could do it later, I don't know. I don't really have to do dishes till tomorrow because there's not that many dishes. Anyhow, I had to take the sweater off of Lucy outside because we had dog Lucy. 
and she had a little sweater on because it was cold this morning, so I put a sweater on last night on her, and I took it off today through the fence. And she let me. I said, you want your sweater off? So I took my hands through the fence and took her sweater off and, and took off her legs, and then she, her two front legs, and then she backed up out of, out of the head part, boop, and pulled it through the fence. And I got it, and I put it over there. Maybe put on her tonight again. I don't know. I think she's going to sleep inside. I'm not sure. Because every once in a while, my sister would bring in two of her dogs, either Little Man or and Bella, and then or later on, and sometimes they spend the night, and sometimes it's, it's, she brings in Ringo and my dog Lucy, which is also her dog. We share Lucy because Lucy likes to hang out with her dog, Ringo. And my dog, Buster, he's in her right now. He's in her all the time when my sister's gone. And then right before my sister gets home, I put him... I sent him back upstairs with my brother Mark. He's spending the night up there. Upstairs. And then we bring in the other two dogs. Mammon and Little Man and uh, Bella. Which she calls Mammon now because he's not little anymore. Yeah, this first part of Weekend Wonder. And how do you be clean? You know how to keep dogs clean? Well, the outside dogs. Ringo and Lucy, they get hosed off. And then we use dish soap to kill any fleas or anything else. Plus, she gives her the, they gave him, she gave him the pill that's supposed to last a few months, uh, a couple months, but actually it's been lasting for a long time to kill fleas off. But anyways, we gave all the dogs that. But anyways, she, she, my sister hoses off the dogs outside and then washes them off with dish soap and then rinses them off. That's how Lucy and Ringo get the bath because it's hard to get them in the bath because they fight and they're, they're wild. They're more like outside dogs. Inside dogs, though, like Man Man and Bella... They're outside, inside too. But when we bring them in, just put them in the tub and wash them off. Because Mammy likes it, but bath. Sometimes he jumps in the tub himself. Bella, we have to put her in because she has three legs. Wash her off, and make her clean, so she can be clean. Be clean. What do you think, Doofus? Let's ask Doofus what you think is clean. I think being clean's overrated. Overrated. All you do is. Is is for soap? All I need to do is jump in the in the river and and wash off with some bar soap, and then I just get, just just get out of the river and walk home. You should put your clothes back on before you walk home, because I don't like seeing you running around naked. You big dummy! Eee, that was my brother, uh, Cowboy McCowboy. I'm Doofus McDoofus, and I like to take baths in. The lake naked, and then I uh, wash myself all with soap, and then and that's all I have is soap in a in a, in a like a little wash cloth, and I wash myself off, and then I just walk home naked. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. I uh, would rather you take your clothes there in a bag, and you know, and uh, put you know, take a bag with you with the soap and the, the dishwasher in there, dishwashing cloth, whatever, and then wash yourself off naked after you take the clothes off, and and then. And then take your clothes and put them back on. You know what I mean? Or put some other clothes on because you put the same dirty, crappy clothes back on. Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes I just run around naked all day long. I don't need more clothes. Yeah, that's disgusting. Put your clothes on. And if you have dirty clothes, just throw them in the washing machine. Don't throw them in the river. You can't wash clothes like that. It's just stupid and old fashioned dumb, okay? I use the washing machine in the dry. I clean my clothes and then I take some baths or showers. And I wash myself off good. You are like an animal. You said animal. You finally said animal instead of aminal. Yeah, no, because I'm tired of saying aminal and you making fun of me. Anyhow, stop being like a dirty critter. <laughs> critter. You said critter. Yeah, shut up. I'm going to go out and, uh, and jump on a horse and go into the sunset. Yeehaw! That's how you take stay clean. Be clean, everybody. Ah. <sighs> Today's Saturday in the park. I could have sworn I saw a monkey get on a ride. People were screaming. People were hollering. Running away from clowns. Why were clowns chasing people? Psycho clowns chasing people around town. Stop dressing like a clown and chasing people around. You're crazy. Don't do that, you nutball. Okay. So stay tuned for later on when I do vlog number 296 about smells! Exclamation point. Right now this is be clean! Exclamation point. And stop being a clown. And if you dress up for Halloween, be safe. And watch out for clowns! Crazy psycho clowns! Don't know what's going on there. <sighs> what do you think, doofus? I don't like clowns! I like to beat them up and punch them in the face and kick them in the moon, 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 mo
I don't like clowns either. I just get on my horse and ride away from them because they're stupid and they don't have horses. Ha 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 ha. And that's how Doofus McDoofus and Cowboy McCowboy think of clowns. Anyhow, I'm Garrison. And you're not. And this has been my iPod vlog number 285. Be clean! Be clean! And this is the end of the vlog song. So if you like this, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Comments, suggestions, ask some questions if you want to. Make up a subject I could talk about. I'll talk about it next time or one of these times. Or mention you. Ooh, yeah, okay. And don't forget to check out Under About on my channel. And see, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and, all, and Facebook and MySpace and all that other stuff. Plus, you can see my other channels. Subscribe to them. Check out all the playlists. And answer Mr. Bluefield's first question and second question. What's funny and what's cringy. And see what the Blue Wizard said about the three steps. Or three steps. And his other poem... Never weakens, never gets weak, never weakens. And you could watch those in the playlist on this channel. And you go to my main channel, Mr. Blue View 972, and check out his, his playlist. This channel, Mr. Blue View, check out his playlist. And go to my Garrison's Random Stuff channel and check out his playlist. And go to Emo Warrior Garrison's that channel and check out his playlist. And also Garrison Kids Jr. check out his playlist. And just look under Channels and Featured Channels, and there it is. Or down here, if you're on the desktop version, it's Featured Channels. And subscribe to them, and yes, and make comments on my videos, and thumbs up, and all that stuff, and be clean. In the vlog, in the vlog, this is the end of the vlog song. We can wind up, we can wind up part one ending in the vlog. Stay tuned for vlog number part number two. We can wind up vlog number two hundred ninety six. Who smells? That's on part two of. We can wind up, we can wind up in the vlog, in the vlog number two hundred ninety five ending. Be clean in the vlog, in the vlog. Goodbye.